for that opportunity. Um, but again, when when schools like the the Pac-12 don't perform, they're less likely to give a Boise State or a UCF a chance to compete for the national championship. Um, I think right now four is good, but I think in the future we're going to see it move to six with a uh, first round bye for the top two uh, teams in the country. Tony Donahue, the Tony Do- D podcast joins us. It's my fault that he wasn't on earlier because I don't know what number to have people call, and I don't know why I did that. So huh. my apologies to you. But, hey, uh, real quickly, t- I mean, we, we talked about this on social media. They, they found bonkers. It, it just – alarms started going off everywhere yesterday when the tweet came out that said, Colts arrest to call for set in last preseason game. Oh, my God, that means it's all over again. Oh, my God, uh, luck is gone. Let's, uh, Chicken Little, the, the, the sky is falling. Relax, people. It's going to be okay. And you know what? Even I'm optimistic. I think we're going to see luck in, in week one. But even if not, it's not the end of the world. I don't think it's time to start the doomsday parade for the Colts and Andrew Luck. Do you? Um, and I think it is. My my concern meter has gone from about a two out of ten all the way up to about a nine. Um, I look at it like this. They ran him out last week to do some uh, to do some workouts pregame um, in order to kind of maybe shut up some of the media, shut up some of the uh, so, some of the critics. And I hate to say it, Tom, but this team has lost the benefit of the doubt when it, for me at least, sure. and for a lot of the fan base. You remember a couple of years ago they were they kept pushing it and pushing it. Oh, we don't know, we don't know. We're, we think we expect him to play. The expectations to play well. All of a sudden, when that was going on, kind of is right now, what are you seeing? More and more advertisements to buy Colts season tickets. You see billboards to buy Colts season tickets. And you would hate to say that they would they would make that same mistake twice, but that's exactly what happened two years ago. They absolutely kept forcing the issue that Andrew Luck was going to play to try to sell tickets. Now, you you don't know what's going to happen with Luck. It, the, this has been a an ongoing conversation and an ongoing lingering injury for how long now? And you ask yourself, how the hell is he not, you know, healed? And with Jacoby sitting later today against the Bears, um, my expectation is that the Bears aren't going to start a lot of their players either. The preseason's too long. This is kind of a way for both teams to say, hey, we're going to we're gonna kind of stick it to the league a little bit. And it, and it stings for season ticket holders because you have to pay full price for these, for these mm-hmm. preseason games. Exactly. But the retail value is 90% less. Um, the bottom line is, though, is that I think Jacoby Brissett is going to be the starter first game of the year. Um, you sit him out right now because there's no, and you sit him out next week because you know what you have, and you don't want to, you don't want anybody to get any more game tape on him, and you don't want to risk injuring him because then you're really behind the eight ball. They've been confident in Jacoby Brissett as the backup. They were offered trade and and pretty good trade value for him, and they did not accept over the past, I'd say, year, year and a half. Um, so they're going to have to move on if Andrew Luck is not ready to go with the guy in Jacoby Brissett that they traded for and they've been so highly on. He proved it last week in the game on Saturday that he can perform, but we've also seen him play pretty up and down football. So he's going to have to show some consistency if the Colts want to get by, so to speak, until Andrew Luck gets back. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a fun game. I'll be down there. They're going to hang out at the Bullseye event group a little bit uh, uh, before the game. That's a, always a fun a fun time, and uh, your your friend John will be down there. At least I think you guys are still yep. friends. <laughs> yeah, no, John and I are all good. Yeah, I know you are. So, uh, but uh, hopefully we'll see you down there throughout the season. But also uh, looking forward to you uh, playing fantasy football for the first year. And it looks like you got a pretty good uh, good team put together there. So we're looking forward to having you on the uh, Balance uh, Fantasy Football League as well. Yeah, looking forward to it. I, I, I think the, the more and more fantasy football I play year in after year out, I, I learn and know less and less of the players, um, but I do like my squad this year. I like Mitch Trubisky to uh, to lead me to the promised land, and as long as uh, uh, you know Hopkins and, and and Allen can continue what they did last year, I think I'll be okay. Absolutely, Tony Donahue, Tony D Podcast. Where can people find your work and masterpieces, sir? Yeah, Tony D Indy on Twitter. Uh, the Tony D Podcast available on Spotify and iTunes and the Anchor app, and. Uh, don't forget to watch that Indy car race tonight starting around 9 o'clock Eastern on NBC Sports Network. Sure to be much more exciting than the Colts and Bears game tonight. So <laughs> There is. That's, that's why I'm going to leave that Colts and Bears game today at about halftime. There you go. Are you going down to, to the uh, tailgate, the bullseye? Uh, not today. Be... Not today. Okay. But I will be down there eventually. 
All right. Well, I'll definitely buy you a beer when I get down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can afford oh, to yeah, buy you a beer at the Bullseye, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Tony. Have yourself a good weekend. You too. Take care. Bye bye. Tony Donahue. Tony uh, D podcast. Love having him on. Very knowledgeable about sports across the board and has uh, certainly been a part of the Indianapolis media for a long time here. So good to have him on the balance team as well. Ran on overtime a little bit today, but that's okay. It all it all's good. So uh, we are going to get going because it's, it's game day. We're going to head down to the uh, tailgate party here in a couple hours, have fun. We know what's going to happen at the end. It's all right. So let's just go have fun. My name is Tom Mark with El Presidente. Remember, don't don't drink and drive it and cool. Follow us on on Twitter, T Balance. My name is Tom Mark with El Presidente. I'm out of here. This is. Join us next week for The Balance. In the meantime, check us out on Twitter, T-Balance, or Facebook, The Balance, or online at www.thebalanceonline.com.